Hello guys, today I want to present you another component on my Livewire kit set of components and also a lesson about Livewire with example of a date picker called Pick a Day. There are quite a lot of different date pickers on the market. Historically, there are a lot of jQuery based date pickers, but generally I wouldn't advise to mix Livewire with jQuery libraries like bigger libraries like even Select2 or others. It's quite a pain to mix them together without any bugs, but in case of Picaday, it was actually pretty easy to install and make it working. And let me show you how. So here's my small demo project, a form with two fields, project name, just a text, and then due date, it's a date picker. In the database, there is a table of projects with two fields and timestamps, so nothing really fancy. And now this should be changed to pick a day. With Livewire component, we create a component, I've created a component called pick a day, which renders the pick a day blade. Design template is from my Livewire kit because every component has Tailwind and Bootstrap versions. But if we look at pick a day blade, the main thing is this. So due date field has wire model lazy to date with a placeholder and we will get to date format in a bit. So we have the date which is tied to the property of the live wire component called date. Basically whenever we change something in that blade the value of this date changes automatically. And then at the bottom we have a script. We have a section script only for that particular page. In the main blade of layout, we have after live wire scripts, we have yield scripts like a section, and then we yield that section and load the pick a day from the CDN, the pick a day, and also related moment JS library also from CDN. And then we can initialize the pick a day with the date ID, which is corresponding to this ID date. And also we choose the format of month, day, year. And that's it, nothing more to load from Livewire or NPM or anything. We load everything from CDN and we have date picker like this. You can choose another date. Now saving the data is also pretty easy, but with one small detail, let me show you. So the form is submitted by wire click on a button and there's a submit form method, which is method in Livewire component this one. So this validate validates the rules of name and date and this is working. So for example, if we click save the project, we have this as a validation rule without refresh the page. That's the whole point of live wire. But if the validation succeeds, then we create the project. But here we don't see any formatting. So any change of the date format from this one into actually database year, month and date. We'll get to that in a minute, but for now in the live wire form, we have saved true and reset the values, which clears the form values and the saved is for showing on top this. If there is a saved variable, then the project is saved. So we do the filling, save the project, project saved, and then in the database, if we refresh our table, we have the due date in the normal format. So where is the formatting happening? For that, I used eloquent feature in the model. It's called eloquent mutator. So set due date attribute. Due date is an attribute which is a snake case, but for the mutator, you need to call the method set and then camel case due date attribute. And here we format the value is the original value formatted by Picaday. We create the carbon object from that one and then format to whatever we want. And that's it, a simple case of date picker, but maybe you will learn a thing or two about loading the scripts or about mutator or about how to deal with Picaday. The Picaday documentation is here on their GitHub. The main benefit of using Picaday, in my opinion, is that it's not jQuery and it doesn't depend on any other JavaScript library, it's just pure JavaScript. It's lightweight, goes from CDN, so it's really easy to install if you wish to. But if you want to dig deeper into its functionality and other things and usage and formatting and all of that, just go to pick a day GitHub and read all the documentation. And if you want more examples of Livewire, we go back to my Livewire kit and this is the 33rd component in my set of components about Livewire. So here I can scroll down and show you. 
and the number 33 is the date picker. From time to time, I add more components. And if you want to purchase, it's one time payment, one price of $29 for all the components. So you would receive the GitHub invitation to the repository where I would add more components in the future. And by purchasing LiveWarkit, you also support this YouTube channel where I will keep shooting free YouTube videos about Laravel and related stuff. So support the channel by checking out LiveWarkit and see you guys in other videos.